welcome to today's vlog. This is going to be potentially, well, I think this is the last of the Chiang Mai vlogs and also the first of the Pai vlogs. Um, yeah, finishing off some bits and pieces in Chiang Mai that I still want to do this morning. Um, so, for example, we're doing Silver Temple um, and Doi Su Tep, and then we're heading off to Pai. The hostel I've been staying at is called Tai Tai Hostel and it's been great for like going on tours and stuff and I would recommend like I think it's the best hostel experience I've had so far however it is a little bit far out it's not in the old town and I would recommend if you're in Chiang Mai I would recommend if you want to see like the temples and stuff and like the markets and everything definitely stick to the old town that being said it has only taken me about 10 minutes to get to the old town so it's not too bad we're almost at the silver temple i'm pretty sure that's it right in front of us i need to get my long trousers out because i'm currently wearing shorts right but i want to be respectful <laughs> I don't know what this actually like represents like I would like to find out and then it ends with like the Avengers Over there. I'm not really sure what that represents <laughs> explain the feeling it feels a bit like like you're in, in constant awe of everything in front of you I don't have the words to explain to you how it feels I just spotted a tiger I wanted to go into the silver temple but um, I actually can't um, it's only men are allowed in there now gonna move on and head to go to Doi Su Tep like this is gonna be a bit of a challenge We're, we've got a bit of a quest to go on um, I'm not 100% sure where to get the taxi from. Everywhere that I've looked on Google said that the red taxis are the best way to go. Um, according to Google, I do have a place to go to, so that's where I'm going to go. Um, I don't know whether to take my, like, my long trousers off or to just like, keep them on. Um, it's really weird. I don't mind like putting them over my shorts, but it feels wrong to be taking them off because I don't want people to think I'm getting undressed, but <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm just taking a layer off. I need to find breakfast. I'm getting hungry now, and I'm gonna be a while at Doi Su Tep. It's gonna be like at least two hours like before I'm back, and I'm hungry, and I've got quite a long journey later to Pai, and I'm not good in the car anyway, so I need to make sure I've eaten, and then I can take my travel sickness tablets. A quick little 7-Eleven haul for you. I got a razor. I've been looking for them everywhere. Everyone says that tampons are hard to find, but this has been the hardest to find for me. Um, raisin bread, of course. And I thought I'd try this out as well because this also doesn't have milk in it. So it looks like this has like a, like a, what's it called? Like a blueberry jam filling. Um, so I think it'll be quite good actually. It's okay. I wouldn't rush to buy it again, but it's um, it's edible. I'll eat it. I'll take it. If you gave it to me, I wouldn't say no, but I'm not going to rush to buy it again. But for 12 baht, I think it's pretty good. I believe that over there is the Three Kings Monument, I imagine. There's three of them. They look like kings. I also didn't know about this. There's currently an art, craft and food festival. So I think I found where to get the red taxis. I've just been Googling and on Google it says to just like, I don't know, like flag them down. But I did also see somewhere that there's like specific, like a specific stop for Doi Su Tep. And it's opposite the gate like that I'm currently at, which is the Chang Kwak gate, I think. I'll put it on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, I think that's where I need to go. Okay, so I think this is the one I'm getting. You have to wait until it's full, so it might take a while. Um, I think it's just me here at the moment. A little bit of a fail. I've been sat at the like 
the I don't know what to call them I can't remember I always forget what they're called but like the red taxi stop um, for like an hour and a half and you need a minimum of like 10 people to leave and it's just like there was three of us for like an hour and I've got two and a half hours before I'm picked up for my like by my bus to go to Pai and I just feel like I'm just getting stressed out I feel like I don't have enough time to go and come back and see the temple like how I want to see it I think I'm gonna go find a place to get lunch I just sort of have to accept that I'm not gonna see everything I want to see um, plus I'm still holding out a tiny bit of hope because I don't know how I'm gonna get down to the south after like Pai like there's the option of flying from Chiang Mai so maybe I'll come back here for a day but then I'm just thinking to myself like is it worth it do I really want to go that much or am I just gonna get over it and it feels like a big thing right now you're not gonna be able to see everything when you travel no, you're not gonna see everything you want to see and that's okay um, it's just a reason to come back really isn't it yeah, I didn't see this before I didn't notice it but it's like a model city or like the old town I've had lunch um, I went to vegan heaven which is where I went last night for the cow soy um, which is a separate vlog um, so ignore me I had gyoza for lunch and I had some I had a mango smoothie which honestly the mango smoothie I wouldn't recommend I don't know I, did, I felt like it didn't taste of much The journey from Chiang Mai to Pai is extremely tiring. It takes three hours and within those three hours, there's 762 bends in the road. So yeah, not fun for me at all. But thankfully, about halfway through, we made a stop at... It's the Thai equivalent of the services, but essentially it's a market um, where you can buy some snacks or food uh, you can have a drink, you can have a sit down, that sort of thing. There's usually other minivans there as well. And there's also toilets if you need the toilet. Yeah, I picked up some banana chips while we were there and some peanuts. I'm on my way to my hostel, but I'm not going to lie. Google Maps is sending me in all sorts of directions, but shouldn't be too far, hopefully. So I've made it to Pai um, Night Market. This is Walking Street. And I'm just going to get myself some food. I'm thinking I'm going to get some vegan pad thai. Because I actually haven't had pad thai yet and I really want to try it. And I've never seen a vegan one because it has an egg in it. So I'm going to take my opportunity and get it. It's 60 baht, which is like 150. So. Take a break, okay? Okay, 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's my luck exactly that as I walk up there, the person who was working there has gone for a break, um, but that's okay. Just probably gonna, <clears throat> I've sat down for a little bit, but I'm probably gonna walk around like the other direction and just see what's around. <laughs> one vegan, one vegetarian, one vegetarian, and another one. Another vegetarian. Watching the pad thai being made was such a fun experience in itself. I don't know if I preferred that or the food itself. It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. And this was a very good start to my time in Pai. If you would like to see what I get up to while I'm in Pai, definitely subscribe and turn on the notifications because that will be my next video coming your way next week. But for now, Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Watch me drop it all.